Eric Mwadet, Mwadet.com. Let's draw two lines on this chart, and I'm using the chart for STLD. So I'm going to draw two lines, and the first one is going to be here. Let's call it at about somewhere around there at about 61.8 on the all-time monthly chart here. We're going to draw another one. Let's call it somewhere around there. And this one is going to be representative of the level around 38.2. Okay. Now, I want you to see what happens when we draw those two simple lines. You can see here in early 02, there was a resistance on that blue line, which corresponded with a short-term low. And then notice what happened when the stock finally clears that level sometime in 2003. So we're talking about this range here. Once we moved above 61.8, we had this explosion in price. We come back and recapture that same level here is during this period and then we also have support right here at 61.8 which corresponds with this support somewhere around there and then again back above and staying above 61.8 for a couple of years which corresponds with this very explosive phase in the stock now we come back after a couple years we did break below and the break here corresponds with this movement and of course we saw a price drop we come here again we tag that blue line again the level around 61.8 for the highs there and we come here we stall slightly early 2013 for those highs and then we finally clear that level which is this short period for spike higher we stayed above it here in fact we had double bottom support on that line there which corresponds with the lows here and here and the stock stayed above 61.8 and went on to record higher levels over the last couple of months we've seen the stock move higher as it has cleared that 61.8 level so by taking advantage of analysis around 61.8 you can see how the stock tells us how the stock responds well when the stock is trading above 61.8 now let's flip the script and take a look at how the stock has responded when it has been coming around to the 38.2 level on its monthly chart and you'll see a couple of quick observations support at 38.2 for the lows of 2000 again double bottom support here the stock held double bottom support at 60 at 38.2 for the lows here in late 08 early 09 and again support here late 2011 for the lows there and support here for these lows so we can see that here given the all data on this chart every time it bounces successfully at 38.2 it made a major low on a month to month basis and so we can see again using 38.2 gave us a nice reference point on when to get back in the stock on hindsight and when it was trading above 61.8 it traded well resistance at 61.8 led to sell-offs so here I just want to show you how understanding how to look at charts from a Fibonacci number series perspective here being 61.8 and 38.2 can help us gauge where the next swing trade is going to be. Eric Mwadet, Mwadet.com as always. Good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S. Mwah.